Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome back to some Mountain Blade 2 Battle Lord. Today, we are diving right back in with the Caradia Awakens mod, and I'm going to be putting the Romans in the mod to the test. But these aren't just normal Romans. These are Romans if they had access to guns, explosive cannons, and magic. So, as you can already tell, Caradia Awakens is an absolutely crazy mod, as in so many fantasy elements, and also some historical elements. Obviously, the historical elements not being some battle mages of the Romans. Roman Empire, uh, but being more of a legionary and other units like that, you can see this is where the original Roman mod I've been playing a lot on the channel came from, and the modders have then taken that and, and you know, improved it and added different stuff to it, which make it more historical. However, Caradia Rakens is not as historical as maybe you would like. It is a yeah, glorious mod that just adds in so much craziness. And today we're going to be going against the Undead Legions. So a force from the undead. I've given them some necromancy, some flesh golems. I've given them these awesome reaper units this unit looks so goddamn awesome and i love the uh, spiked weaponry as well looks at the end it's really really clean they also have some uh, yeah some necromancers which they're going to be using they have vampires i believe the cow radio awakens have a lot of the, uh, the, va the vampire type units you can see this one right here um so yeah but they're gonna be going up against us i gave them about 610 soldiers yeah, 610 soldiers and then i have around about five four 450 so they, they are outnumbering us but a lot of their soldiers are just these awful one dead that are gonna get shot down by our elite mu uh, muskets yeah these guys are going to be able to you know volley fire on the enemy do some serious damage and bring them down and then we also have these ballistas as well look at that cannon he has on his back uh, and then not only that we also have some battle mages as well to add to our firepower so i'm not scared in the slightest i'm also playing as a uh, magi war magus as well so i'll be able to go pew pew in the midst of the battle so let's just dive into it we've taken a look at the units let's see what the roman guns have to offer and uh, yeah, imagine if Rome had guns and uh, guns and magic in real life. That'd be pretty crazy. So let's just set up our formation quickly. We have a kind of a nice field we can actually set up in. The back of the map is all the way back here. So we actually can like bring the enemy across this hill and then shoot it. We could obviously advance forward and take this hill. But I want the enemy to be charging at me. And I want to hold them here. So let's just set up a, a nice two rank line. Uh, actually, even three ranks is pretty good. I've noticed, like, infantry-wise, you definitely want three ranks. And then, obviously, archers and missiles, you, you want two ranks uh, at most. We also have our ballistas, which I guess will also stick on the front line. Maybe stick them a little bit further forward. And we have our mages, which I assume can go behind, but maybe not. Maybe we'll have to adjust that when we do get into battle. Uh, so, let's go ahead and, obviously, let these guys get ready to move. I'll also show you some of the... Ma oh, I'm cheering. In, in For honor and glory, boys. For honor and glory. I can also show you some of my magic as well. I've got kind of, like, this ballista to shot here which like shoots out arrows and then i also have like i think a fire bolt as well yeah i also have like an explosive fire bolt and then obviously my sword as well and look how awesome the uh the book looks there as well let's go on slow-mo really quickly uh so i can show you guys some of the units as the enemy get closer and closer and then obviously we will devour into them uh so we'll go on slow-mo really quickly and let's take a look at some of the units so obviously on the front line we do have the, the gunning romans these guys have a pretty cool musket model i believe there's no real animations in the mod but some of the models can't do quite yet until the next batch of mod tools get added uh but i think there's maybe some like arm placements or something when we do shoot these but like reload animations and stuff like that i don't think are quite uh, able to be added into the game quite yet but these guys are gonna be holding my front line lots of riflemen gonna be great we obviously have the uh, the elite ballista dudes i'm excited to see what the hell these guys do because i haven't actually tested them quite yet with these absolutely humongous cannons that they do have so hopefully the enemy are prepared as they close the distance we obviously then just have the normal romans which we know and love with their pilum, and then we obviously also have the war mages, which I might bring up to the front lines as well uh, as I'm leading the convent. I love the like floating book as well. It's such a cool idea to create it like that. Um, but it's kind of like a shield, but it's just on the front line. So actually, yeah, let's, let's actually bring up the uh, the mages. We'll stick the mages on the front line as well because we only have like five of them, right? So I don't want the enemy to get a little bit too close. And I'll be up here with the mages, ready to fire off some shots. We could do some proper Kobe's and try and uh, maybe pick off the enemy. I don't even think so, though. They must be getting close. Though. Oh yeah, and also as well, we'll take a look at the enemy lines as well. So they're just the hordes of the undead. They've got these Reaper units charging forward at me. Looking great. I think this is definitely one of my favorite units in the, uh, the Reaper roster. Oh, the enemy actually shooting, so let's pause it quickly. Then they just have kind of like their undead 
uh, white to help us see a bit of vampire general right there. Uh, we obviously have some more necromancy. Maybe it's just some more of the infantry. I believe they also have some necromancers in here as well. So they should be, yeah, raising the dead. And these flesh golems as well, charging forward. So the guns are actually already shooting. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. And the mages are already throwing as well. So let's unpause it. The ballistas. Yeah, let's see what the ballistas do to the enemy line. Oh, that's some big explosions. Oh, my God. That is insane, but this is going in. Just look at that fire coming off in the distance. The magic coming in, hitting the enemy line, the guns firing hard. Oh, they do actually have proper shooting animations. There's no reload animations. Okay, but they basically do load the rifle, or at least bring the rifle up and uh, fire quite nicely. And our mages are obviously firing out their lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Oh, enemy incoming missile from the necromancies from the, uh, I guess, the evil faction. Or the evil undead faction has kind of more darker magic. As they hit against our shield wall. Not bad. The guns are doing pretty good. And look at that uh, kill count probably going up pretty crazy. Let's see if I can maybe rack up some kills. What we got? We just got the ballista one. I must prefer the fire bolts, honestly. Uh, so we'll fire them out. Try and do you no know, friendly fire. See if we can get some good kills there. Oh, it's, it's a crazy amount of damage. It doesn't seem like the magic is like ridiculously OP. But it does seem like we do do some serious damage uh, on the enemy line. You know, it's like it's like a it's like a kind of a quarter HP from direct hits, which isn't bad. Uh, obviously racking up over time and if you bring like 10 or 15 of these guys yeah you'll do some uh pretty pretty insane damage not bad so let's actually just bring back our line now so we'll bring back the ballistas i guess the guns also have to come back as well um and obviously as well there's no like formations or anything even oh my my mages no my magus my magus are out there retreat back boys and we got the romans now ready to over overcome the enemy line yeah there you go the romans are gonna get stuck in now and we can probably just watch this battle like fully unfold as the guns fall back. Because even if they break their way, they have like broken through some of my battle line there. On like the left flank, they've broken through over here. Uh, but obviously that's where all the guns are going to be training their, their uh, rifles to. And we also have the ballista bolts as well. I mean, this was an absolute slaughter for once as well. Because generally a lot of the time, I do not fare well in these battles I create. I make them so unbalanced that uh, we get absolutely ruined. Uh, yeah, but anything that does break through the rifles do just have a pretty good time with it. Let's try and stretch, stretch, stretch these rifles out a little bit more as well so more of them can shoot. There you go. Double ranks or triple ranks. It'd be cool if you could have like proper formations as well. Where it's like kneel fire and uh, fire by rank. I mean, I imagine once the uh, once the uh, like full mod tools come out when, the, when Battle Lords goes out of early access, uh, we'll be able to have them. Uh, so the enemy are running from me. How much damage does this do? I guess I can just shoot my own men as well and find out. Uh, yeah, I mean, not crazy damage, but still not bad damage. There's a little bit more than the firebolts, I think. And I think it shoots off more shots as well. And now you can see that it's just the ballistas which are doing serious work. Like, imagine having a full rank of those. Also, you can do some jump shots as well. We'll do some 360 no-scopes. Perfect. Okay, well, that, that battle, that was pretty easy. We managed to defeat the undead without too much trouble. So now, let's see if we can defeat... I don't know. We have a few factions we can mess around with. They obviously have the, uh, the Eldari of the Eldaria. Are these the faction I think it is? Are these the High Elves? Um, I believe they are, right? Uh, if we go over to Templar... No, these are... Oh, this is all I'm currently on. So Eldari. And then, yeah, these are the uh, Phoenix Guards. So let's see how they fare against some heavily armoured scary foes. Okay, so we're back in the battle. I brought the same army that I had in the last uh, in the last engagement, and now we're going to set up. So I gave the AI a fairly large amount of a pretty strong high elf infantry. I gave them, I believe, more magic than me, but less guns. Or they obviously have no guns, but I also gave them fifty wood elf uh, archers as well, which I can't even see where the belts they are, but they are on the other over here. Yeah, I also gave them some wood elf archers as well with their awesome. Really cool kind of custom helmets, which are, you know, very, very juicy indeed. And obviously on the flank as well, uh, you can see the, uh, the infantry moving up, looking very, very nice indeed. Super high elfy um, from Warhammer. Uh, so let's just set up again. We'll set up our battle line, much like we did in the first battle. We'll just have a, a, a pretty staunch line of swords like so. The guns can obviously go in one thick line. We'll have the, uh, the, the guns, the ballistas up there. I think I have way too many ballistas in my army, I'm not going to lie. And then we'll set up like so there. Like So we have a pretty nice uh, overall. We could also just set up some guns on the flank. Actually, well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set the guns over here in two ranks. Uh, they'll go up here and they'll just fire down. We'll have the, uh, the main infantry line here. Um, and then, yeah, the ballistas can just kind of go a little bit in front. And then we'll have the mages on the right flank. Perfect. Cool, let's do that. That seems like a good setup. On normal speed. Uh, and we'll just, yeah, let the enemy come forward. And you guys can see a bit more. 
Felt like that. I'm hoping the guns can get in position before the enemy do get too close because, as you can see, they, they are closing the distance. I might even run on them. Uh, you guys need to double time it, boys. I might run on them and see if I can slow them up a little bit. Maybe throw off some magic of my own. They, they have a lot of magic as well. I gave them 15 casters, whereas we only have five. Obviously, we also have um, we also have a lot of guns. But they still have 50 archers as well. But I think the ballistas are what's going to turn it for us. So you can already see the guns firing off now in the distance. How are we doing, boys? Oh, the high elves are coming in. No kills quite yet. Magic now being thrown off as well. Oh my god, these guns, they sound like hell. We'll throw off some magic as well. Let's get our fire magic out. Are we lightning this time? No, we're fire. We'll start harassing them. There are so, some stuff in the sky. I don't know exactly what that is. If the enemy are coming, let's keep on going. Let's keep on throwing our flames at the enemy. And you have a gun. Just listen to the kills on them right now. They're not firing. Where's their magic? I gave them a lot of... A lot, I gave them 10 magic. Dude, so the elves... Oh, they're actually going to try and juke it off with me. Interesting. Oh, there, there's their magic. Wow, some explosions. I don't even know what these explosions are. But they look scary. And they are doing damage to my entire line. Yeah, you can see my men starting to drop down. They're glaive warriors as well coming in. The guns are still firing. We've got our mages as well just unleashing hell into their sides. And we'll tell the infantry to charge now. Guns coming down. And there you go. The battle has fully kicked off. The Elven Warriors getting stuck in. I'm getting my sword out, apparently. Let's get, our, let's get some of our missiles around. Let's get our guns around. Just like set up a new battle line like so. Yeah, and even the Glaive Warriors are, are trying to get stuck in. The Romans are really strong. I made sure to give myself some good Romans. But I am still taking casualties, but just not enough. Yeah, the, the Elves are surrounding me, bringing them down. But obviously, you'll still have all these guns moving into position. And they're already starting to, to fire off as well. Into the Glaive Warriors and also everyone else. Yeah, now the guns can fire as well. Oh my god, I'm getting slaughtered now. I, I am charging, right? Yeah, I am charging. Yeah, the enemy uh, line has completely caved in my center. Am I not charging? I could have sworn I told these guys to charge. It just seems like they're maybe a little bit bugged out. Don't exactly know. Okay, well, let's uh, set up our line again. The guns are in, in the perfect position, right? So... The guns should be firing in. I am still somehow still alive. I am still no longer alive. But luckily, we can just um, take command of another legionary. Get in the thick of it. Go back on the normal speed. Try our best to uh, slice down as many of the enemy as possible. I also need to try and find the, uh, the enemy missiles as well. The enemy mages. I can't see any of them. But they seem like they're doing work. Yeah, the enemy have ripped through my line. Luckily, though... Luckily, we still have a worm guns. Oh my god, he hit me three times now. Okay, it's 3v1. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh, this is actually an, an Empire Elite Soldier as well. Yeah, we've got it though now. The elves are in retreat. My army, my legion was too strong. The guns proving their worth. Look how awesome the guns look as well in loose formation. Like real skirmishes as well. That's great. Yeah, so this is going to be the Caradia Awakens mod, uh, which is amazing. There's so many different units as well. I'll show you some of the other factions as well we can mess around with. Uh, you obviously have the, the Empire, you have the Faithful, which are like a crusading army. They look amazing Templar uh, units. We go over to the... Oh, the Cavalry would probably look coolest, but still, like, you have a lot of these really, really awesome units using a lot of the uh, the open source uh, mods on the on Nexus mod right now. It's a bunch of really, really cool knights. I might do like a Templar battle and I might change their banner to being Templar and we can get stuck in against, I don't know, maybe Unbed Hordes. I don't know, there's, again, there's so many different factions. You obviously have the Greenskins as well. Uh, you are not a Greenskin. You are a Kazai uh, Noble. But you have a bunch of like Greenskin factions as well, uh, which look great. You obviously ignore the infantry. Um, so they're, they're dope. You obviously have the Undead, which we've seen. The Empire, which are, um, I think actually vanilla, maybe? I don't know. Um, but yeah, you basically have a bunch. You also have like these uh, beasts. I think it's the Dash, or is it the Dark Elder? I don't know. There's also Dark Elder as well. Yeah, you have these guys. Are these guys who look like the guys from Stargate? I don't know if it is. No, maybe it's not. Yeah, you have these guys who look like the guys from Stargate, which are hilarious, um, which is great. But yeah, there's just so much to do. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want to see more of this mod, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to drop a like and a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.